I know a secret. I know a fishing spot where there are some huge white bass swimming around and tons of them. And the best part about it is very few people have any idea that they're there. This week's show, we're going to reveal that mystery. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is Fox Sports Outdoors. It's time now for your weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the Southwest region. This is Fox Sports Outdoors Southwest. So, exactly where is this mystery lake anyway? Well, I'm standing here right now. In fact, just over my shoulder are the boat docks. Just right over here in the parking lot is the row of trucks and boat trailers from all the fishing guides and serious bass anglers in search of huge trophy largemouth bass. This is Lake Fork Marina and Motel right on the shores of famous Lake Fork, Texas. Now, everybody knows about the unbelievable big bass fishing that exists here. Most everybody knows about the excellent crappie fishing here, but very few people are aware of the unbelievable white bass fishery that exists right here at Lake Fork. These are big white bass and lots of them. And on today's show, it's the mystery revealed. We show you some of these white bass, where they're located, how you can find them, and how you can go have some fun catching a bunch of them for your very own. So we're going to launch the Nitro Z8 out in Fork, go out and explore some of this white bass fishing. And while we're doing that, we're taking you around your local region for your fishing reports for the week from our expert team of insider reporters, your local lakes, rivers, and bays. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And right now, let's get it all started back at the FSN studios with your weekend plan. The salooner tables are pointing to mid-afternoons as the best time for fishing over the weekend. Look for game fish activity to begin peaking around 2.31 p.m. on Saturday and 3.22 on Sunday. The sun will rise at 6.19 and set at 8.38. And evenings will be lit by a moon that is only 18% visible. Stay with us, we have all your fishing updates from around the region on the way. Plus, I'll return with Keith Combs to answer this week's Ask the Pro question. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price, every day. Buy Lou's, setting a new standard of fishing performance. Feel the difference. By Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland Lures. With our baits, a good day of fishing is in the bag. And by Strin Fishing Lines, the standard of dependability. see these fish on my graph right down here on the bottom jigging a little spoon right in the middle of a bunch of fish and I got one of them oh that's a good pull right off the bat that's one of the good ones okay that's just a good start right there here we are on Lake Fork and look at the size of that toad white bass now that one is a long slender one it's big, it's long and slender. It's not one of the real fat ones. I hope to show you one of the really fat ones and we'll even slap a scale on it after a while just to show you what they weigh. But that's a good start anyway. We're not keeping them today, but boy, you could keep a mess of those. As long as you cut the red meat strip out, the little iodine strip out of each filet, they are great eating. Well, let me tell you at the very beginning that these are open water fish. They're out in open water and they're chasing bait fish. So you're gonna find these schools of shad. You've gotta have good electronics like my Lawrence HDS system here. But you gotta be able to see the bait fish, see the shad down there, find where they are, get right up above them, and then vertically fish for these fish straight down below the boat. There are a lot of deep humps on this lake. Now, I'm not talking about little shallow humps, 10, 12, 14 feet. These humps are 25 to 30 feet on top of the hump. That's the shallow part. I'll show you a couple of shots of my chart here of what these humps look like. They're not much. They fall off to maybe 35 to 40 feet around the edges, but they come up to about 30 feet, 28, something like that on top. That's the tight places you're gonna find these white bass. You run your graph over it, find the bait fish, and then you start jigging it, or I'm gonna fish a little Bobby Garland bait on top of them here in a little bit. That gets you started though. 
Now it's time to get you some fishing reports. The whole Louisiana coast are catching lots of fish, lots of trout, lots of redfish. Talk to old Bill Lake in the Homa area. He's catching lots of trout every morning, using soft plastics, voodoo shrimp, matrix shad, red ordees down there around uh, Breton Sound. He's catching lots of fish on live shrimp right now. Right here in Louisiana, of course, you know old Captain Kevin. I'm partial to these old redfish, so I can't leave them alone with lots of trout action picking up. Soft plastic Kelly Wigglers on light rock foot flower jig heads seems to be the key for us. Top waters for some bigger fish. Tell you what, red fishing, southwest Louisiana, doesn't get any better. You want to make a trip, you can give us a call. Cajun Paradise Lodge and Charters, come and get you some. Right now, we're turning it over to Cajun Field. This one on the bass scene. All of Toledo Bay is doing really good right now. Talk to lots of people that's catching big ice chest full of big bluegill and chickapit. They're starting to bed up, it's doing real good there. Let's talk a little bit low, uh, closer to Lake Charles, Louisiana. Let's talk about Lac Sea Reserve once again. I love fishing Lac Sea Reserve. Shallow water marsh, gotta go in with an aluminum boat, 25 horsepower motors max. A lot of kayaks in there, they're doing good too. But right now, the brim are bedding up all over Lac Sea. Also up in Lake Darbo, we got some good reports this week of both brim and bass hitting. The bass up there still hitting the lipless crankbait a lot better up on doorbell than anything else. I tell you what, friends, fishing across the states, doing pretty good right now. What a fight. What a fight he's bending that rod down. Good one. Good one. Yeah. All right. That's a big old fat white bass. Oh, man. Welcome back, everybody. Lake Fork, Texas today, catching some toads like that. I'm going to weigh one of these here in a little bit just to give you some perspective. These are all about the same size. And I guarantee you they're all gonna be close to around two pounds and a two pound white is a legitimate big white bass. There are not very many of those swimming around our region. Back he goes. Hey, let's talk a little bit about tackle. This is the Lose Speed Stick Custom Rod. It's got a lot of backbone. This is a seven foot rod right here. Seven foot medium heavy action. That's, that's how big a rod you need to catch these big white bass. The big bait cast reel, that's the Lose, uh, that's the BB, what have I got here? The BB1 or the BB2? That's the BB1 Pro Reels, brand new. Got it spooled up with Strin 12 pound test original line. Don't use discount store line if you're gonna come out and catch some of these. One other thing I'm doing, you notice I'm fishing off the back of the boat. That's because I've got my uh, motor guide XI5 Wi-Fi trolling motor deployed up front. I've got myself anchored in this position on a GPS waypoint and it's not gonna move me off of here. It'll just hold me in the wind as long as I wanna fish back here off the back of the boat. Time now for some more fishing and lake reports for you. A big old Lake Eufaula is giant by any standards. It's the largest body of water here in the state of Oklahoma. But you know what? In case of recent rains, it's been up as much as 13 feet high. The lake is starting to recede now. I stopped by a few days ago to exactly see what the lake looked like. I also had a visit with Lake Eufaula Marina owner, Jason Brown. Here's what he had to say about it. For starters, we're back open again. Uh, as you can see, the lake has receded down a little bit. It, it went up almost halfway up to my yard here. Of course, the fish behind me, as you can see, it was completely underwater. But now we are back open. We keep the dock fully baited out. We have a, we average anywhere between 120 to 140 trees hanging, and we uh, try to keep the habitat really thick. And uh, normally this is one of the greatest spots to fish. Um, we call it our fish factory. But, uh, you know, once we get, once things recede and, you know, things get back to normal, uh, you know, it'll, it'll, be, it'll back, go back to being a hot spot again. I did visit with a couple of the anglers who were fishing around the dock on this day. They said the bite was slow. They had caught one little white bass so far, but you know what, they were still enjoying the outing. That's what fishing is all about. As a good side note, nearby Small Lake Onapa has been pretty good fishing. Visited with Mark Cure also, who's from the Eufaula area, and he had a recent crappie outing there. They caught some nice crappie using the Bobby Garland itty bit swimmers. Just 
three or four feet under the surface over 30 foot of water. Those fish are coming up and feeding on some insects on top. Good time of year to be fishing in Oklahoma, but one thing about it, you can't catch them if you don't go. There's one. Oh, good pull. Good one. Good one. Look at that dude. All right. Well, before we go to the next break, we're going to slap this baby on the scale just to give you some frame of reference for what these fish actually weigh. Keeping in mind that a legitimate digital scale two pound white bass is very rare. And this one weighs two pounds and three ounces. And again, a two pound white bass is really uncommon. And these are just average here. You just catch a whole bunch of these. I wanna show you how many of these fish are around. Then I'm gonna let that fish go back. I want you to look at the screen on my Lowrance HDS-12. This is the new Gen 3 system that I've got here. The latest, greatest with the fast processor, the brighter screen, the pinch to zoom screen, everything built in. Look at how many white bass are ganged up right below my boat. You would have a blast coming and doing this. As we go to break, I want to give you the uh, web address and the phone number for Lake Fork Marina and Lodge if you'd like to come book a trip and stay right here and catch some of these white bass. One of these locations I'm catching is just literally right outside Lake Fork Marina, not 300 yards outside the mouth of the marina, so you don't have to go far. Stay tuned, we're coming back to Lake Fork. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Exide AGM Marine Batteries. Starts like new, stays like new longer. By Motor Guide Trolling Motors. Introducing the XI-5 for ultimate boat control. By Fort Worth Nissan. Fox Sports Outdoors is powered by Fort Worth Nissan and by Nitro Performance Fishing Boats. Champions aren't born, they're made. I got one straight down. Whoa, whoa, good pull. Oh, another good one. All right. Well, hey, let's talk a little bit about the technique that you want to use to catch these fish. That's just another average big one right there. They're, they seem like they're all big today. You're going to do this. These fish have a personality, and every day, they may be a little different as to what it takes to make them bite. So what you need to do, I've got three techniques to show you. One is a cast. You cast that spoon or that swim bait or that jig out there. You let it go to the bottom and it's a swimming technique. So once it hits the bottom, you're going to take your rod tip and swim it up. Pull, 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 swim, and then let it fall back and take up the slack real easy. Hit the bottom, pull, 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 swim up like that. That's the swimming technique. Second one is a more aggressive technique. When these fish are a little more active and feeding, it's a hopping, real aggressive. Three or four good big hops, let it fall back to the bottom. Three or four big hops like that, let it fall back to the bottom. And then the third one is when they're really finicky and it's hard to make them bite, it's almost a dead sticking technique. You let it hit the bottom, take up the slack, and gently raise it up and hold it still and let it twist in the wind. You just let that spoon or that jig or whatever, let the current give it a little bit of movement. You don't give it much movement with your rod. Let it hit the bottom, take up the slack, gently lift, hold, and let it twist in the current. And a lot of times that will attract the strike as well. Okay, time for more fishing reports for you from your local area. Hi folks, this week's Lone Star Lakes is brought to you by Signature Properties, your agent for lakeside lifestyle living. Whether you're looking for a retirement property, a vacation home, or a ranch, Signature Properties has what you need. Your home is special, shouldn't your agent be? Now this week we're here hard on the banks of the Brazos River. Now we've talked about how our lakes benefited greatly from the recent rains. We haven't mentioned the rivers so much. They are also in great shape right now in Texas. Now when you're fishing a smaller part of the river like this, you want to remember your fish will probably be smaller, so use smaller baits. Your road runners, your rooster tails, throw them up into the current, let them come back down with the current past obstructions like rocks, laydowns, and any grasses that you see. 
that's where your fish will be lying in ambush. On wider spots of the river, the fish will be a little bit bigger and your baits can be a little bit bigger, more like your standard bass baits, spinner baits, crank baits, and so forth. Same pattern, up with the current, downstream, past the obstructions. Now, on Lake Whitney, the hybrids are going crazy out around the island over the old river channel, but you're not fishing all that deep. 15, 20, 25 feet, use your slabs and watch for fish coming up to the top. That's this week's Lone Star Lakes, brought to you by Signature Properties. Now let's check in with Mr. Bill Olson. He's on the coast. Hi folks, this week's report is brought to you by Port Aransas on Mustang Island, the fishing capital of Texas, where anglers enjoy pristine bays, estuaries, 18 miles of surf, and the deep blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Plus the local restaurants will even cook your catch come sundown. Come fish and play Texas Island style. For more information, visit portaransas.org. Well, anglers will need to contend with different wind directions depending on where on the Texas coast they fish. Now, the upper coast forecast calls from winds with a southwesterly influence that could keep water stirred up, while on the middle and lower coast, the forecast says moderate winds out of the southeast will be what we'll experience. Now, here's a tip for those fishing bays that are still influenced by freshwater runoff. This photo comes from Texas Outdoors Journal Upper Coast Editor, Captain Nate Skinner, and shows red rub marks on a trout caught from shell in water six feet deep. Nate was fishing a soft plastic on a 3 8 ounce jig head and slowly dragging the bait along the bottom instead of hopping it along. A Carolina rig will also work. The red rub marks are from the trout having their bellies right on the shell. This technique works on the oyster beds in Galveston and Matagorda, as well as the Sabine Lake clam beds. Now, middle and lower coast anglers continue to score with croaker. Topwater lures early have also produced. Out of Port Isabel, a few big trout and big flounder coming from the intracoastal waterway on shrimp. Gaswell Flats has reds and trout. Longbar has given up some big trout on croaker and topwater lures. Walt's Bar has been fair for trout on shrimp under a popping cork. Offshore, good red snapper, some big ling, and dorado have been caught from Freeport southward. This weekend, both Saturday and Sunday have a single tide schedule of one high and one low tide each day. I'm Bill Olson, and I'll see you on the coast. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Tracker Boats. It's more than just a boat, it's a tracker. By Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. By Mercury Marine, official outboard of Fox Sports Outdoors. And by Lawrence Electronics. Find, navigate, dominate. Welcome back everyone. It's time now for the Ask the Pro question. Your chance for advice from professional anglers. This week, Jamal wants to know how important are electronics for the average angler? For the answer, we checked with Bassmaster Elite Fisherman, Keith Combs. Well, you know, I think electronics are, if, if you took electronics away from half the guys on the Elite Series, I mean, we would be lost just because we depend on them so much day in and day out. But for, you know, your average guy that doesn't go out and fish every weekend, I still think they're important. I mean, there's so many things that you can, you can break down a lake in a third of the time uh, that I used to be able to 10 years ago when I didn't have great mapping or, or uh, side imaging or down imaging. So, you know, I recommend even for the, the beginning angler or the guy who doesn't fish every single day, you know, it doesn't have to be the giant screens that we use, but get you something and start getting acquainted with it. I promise you uh, over time you're gonna learn it and it's gonna help you catch more and bigger bass. Thank you, Keith. If you have a question to ask one of the pros, go to our website, follow the Ask the Pro link and send us your information. Now let's find out which big fish picture wins someone a brand new pair of sunglasses on the Costa Catch of the Week. Each week someone wins free Costa sunglasses in the Costa Catch of the Week contest. Here's this week's winner. He is Chris Campbell of Austin, Texas, showing an 11 pound, 12 ounce largemouth bass he caught out of Lake Austin. And in addition to Chris's fish, here are some bonus photos. These are not winners, but great bass out of Lake Austin as well. Aaron McComas with an 11, Jason Richter with an 11, Adam Barnett with an eight, Colt Dietz with a seven, John Reich with a seven, 
Jeremy Sutherland with a six, and James Givens with a 23 pound catfish. If you would like to have a chance to enter and win a free pair of Costas, go to our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com, click in the Costa Catch of the Week area on the right side of the front page. Be sure to attach your photo in the form of a JPEG. You could be our next winner. And you can see all of the Costa frame and lens styles at the Costa website. Just go back to the front page of our website and click on the Costa logo. You'll see them all there, including the beautiful frame style that I was wearing on this week's episode called Double Haul, and I love the camo pattern. Next up on the Academy Right Stuff feature, it's the right lures to catch some of these deep white bass like we caught here at Lake Fork on today's show. Now, it takes some specialized lures to get way down in 30 and 35 feet of water like we were doing today. It begins on the left side of your screen with two different spoons. The top one is a typical half ounce jigging spoon, chrome in color, and below that is a big spoon. You saw us catch several of those good whites on this long spoon. It's five inches long and it weighs about an ounce to an ounce and a quarter. On the right side of your screen, the top is a little swim bait. That's a Jean LaRue Sweet Swimmer on a heavy one ounce head. And below that is a little bit smaller bait. That's a quarter ounce jig head with the Bobby Garland Baby Shad Swimmer. Here's a little something to think about. Character is what you are when no one is looking. Those moments when you're alone with your own thoughts and your own behaviors reveal your true self. And the point at which all of us can have true peace is the point at which what we want to do and the right thing to do are one and the same. And none of this is to lay a guilt trip on anyone, but to help expose those areas in our life that need improvement. And all of us want to be better as life unfolds. Hey, here's a little reminder to join us for next week's episode. We'll be on in our normal time slot at 10.30 p.m. Thursday with the repeat airing Saturday morning at 7.30. And you can always watch the latest episode of our show 24-7 right on the front page of our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Right below that, click on past episodes and more video here to see all of the archived episodes. If you missed any, you can always catch up here. Plus, you can see lots of how-to and product videos as well. And be sure to join us on our Facebook page and click the like button for the latest fishing photos, fishing news, and videos. And join us on our Twitter feed and be sure and follow us on Twitter, again, for the latest fishing news. Plus, we give away lots of gear only on Twitter. Well, I hope you enjoyed some of the white bass fishing that we showed you this week from Lake Fork, Texas. You can make a trip here, have a chance to catch the bass of a lifetime. You can also catch some really nice big crappie here. They're here by the thousands. And you can use some of these same techniques at a local lake near you that's got white bass. From Lake Fork in East Texas, until next week, I'm Barry Stokes. Be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all. <laughs>